Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at VTransfer from Vetrix. It's a way to send your G code. First thing you're going to want to do is go to File, then Settings, and you're going to want to turn off Auto Home and Auto Run. Both of them was actually checked when I first opened mine up. One thing to take note of the movement of your machine when you manually move it with this program it's set up in millimeters a second and you can't really change it so if, if that's not what you use like I use inches a minute it's not really a problem when you upload your g-code it's only for when you're moving your machine to set it up so just keep that in mind After you got everything all set up, you're going to go to the connect to communication port. You notice it doesn't say nothing but that. As soon as you flip the switch on the X carve, it'll change and it should say USB. Just like that. Click that one, then it's connected. And another way to double check is your positive Z up your Z origin and your negative Z down button on the far right hand side will appear as soon as it's connected. VTransfer is capable of sending router code or laser code. However, they have to be sent a little different. The first one I'm going to show you is going to be for a router. Simply pick what you usually pick for your post processor, I use uh, the X carve, so I'm going to use easel. So you just basically save it normally, and then you go back to V transfer. And there's two ways to upload. We're going to use the three buttons right there, the little dots. Pick your file. Now, if you don't have homing switches on your machine, you, you can actually set it manually. However, I have homing switches, so that's what we're going to do. Here's where it gets a little bit confusing for me. I'm used to inches a minute. Once again, this is in millimeters. So keep that in mind. Also, if you plan on using the Z-Probe, you might want to lower your Z-axis about three quarters of the way down because for some reason, it, it, if it starts from the top, it'll stop halfway and say there's an error. So that's why I'm lowering mine right now. When you're ready, press that button right there, and then you hit OK. As soon as you hit OK, it starts working. My video is a little ahead of schedule. From this point, you're about ready. Make sure you turn your router on before you hit cut, obviously. And there we have it, pretty simple. A couple features that it does have, it actually gives you a time, how long it's gonna be. It's a rough estimate, I don't know if it's exact, but it was kinda close. Also, you can adjust your feed rate. 
Next, we're going to look at the laser module add-on from Vetric. It's like 50 bucks, I think. The V-transfer will sh uh, send that code to. For the setup, it's going to be basically the same until we get to the part where we save the G-code. That's where it's going to change if you're going to be using a laser. So the big difference between CNC router or laser, if you're trying to send a laser, you have to choose the pros processor that um, is not easel, but it says X-Carve. Mine says inches a minute. That won't work for the, the router, but it will work for the laser. So you got to choose that one if you have a X-Carve. There are currently nine to choose from. Another thing to note, with my laser, I can't use the Z-Access probe, so I have to manually set my laser one eighth inch off of my board or material or whatever I'm using, and that is done manually. And then after you're done setting it, you, you must hit the origin here button in the middle, or it's not going to take same as if you're moving your Y or X, you got to hit the origin here button afterwards. After you hit Z origin here, it will lift the Z axis. Then you need to make sure you turn on your laser before you hit um, send. The last thing you got to do now is upload the G code. One thing I forgot to mention, you may need to enable your laser mode on the X controller, and that's done by dollar sign 32 equals 1. That will turn the laser on. The laser mode on, I'm sorry. And then to turn it off, you would put dollar sign 32 equals 0. That will shut it back off. And that's going to about wrap it up. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my video. If you learned something, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on this content. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching.